right, so we are on our guided reader answers on Wednesday the 27th of January and yesterday you should have answered all the questions on the debate extract all about drones and today we're just going to double check our answers and if you've got any wrong please just rewrite them out again so you know what is expected and then if you've got them right give them a big tick. So here were some of the questions. So again, if you did not do them yesterday, they are there is an opportunity for you to do it now as the questions are on the screen. So here are the first four. Then we have the last three of the questions. So if you've not done it yet, pause the screen, answer them in your books. You can find the extract from yesterday's PowerPoint and video, or it is attached to a PDF as well from one of your guided reading tasks and do it now for me. Everybody else, just keep listening and you can hear the answers. So number one, the word you should have as your answer is versatile, that you would have found that in the third paragraph. Uh, number two, it could have been loads of different reasons that it has some negative uh, media towards it. So it was in the first couple of paragraphs, anything that it said you know, a negative thing about the drone. So here's some examples of what you could have had. If, my, if yours isn't on here and it's still negative and you've still picked out a quote from the text, you can still get those two marks. So you get one mark for telling me the argument of why it was negative and then another mark for backing it up with a quote from the text. So you could have had, it was it's really dangerous and that's why people don't want it. And then you could have used the aircraft quote from there saying that it stopped people, the um, aeroplanes from landing because they've gone into the landing space. So it's really dangerous and could cause a collision. That section there would have been useful. You could also say it was really negative because people use it to spy on people. And then the quote you could have used is all about the privacy. You could have also said that they're not safe um, and they, the quote you could have used for that would be that people should have a pilot's license for it. You should be qualified to be able to manage and control a drone. You could have also said it's really bad for intruding and on that privacy kind of um, thinking again and then use that malicious quote as well. So there's loads of different answers you could have used for that. As long as you've given me why and took an example from the text to back up that answer, you can have those two marks. Same again for question three. It was a positive thing about the drones and backing it up from the answer. So again, you could have the ones that I have on screen now, or you could have one that you've already found that maybe I didn't spot. And as long as it is a positive connotation, so it is a really good thing that the drones are around, and you found a reason and a quote to back it from the text, you can have those two marks as well. So you could have had that it was really helpful for public safety, it was saving lives, because it talks about the emergency services using drones, and drones saving the lines of, that you could have used the Snowden um, rescue team that have used it 27 times, I think it is, if I remember rightly. Um, over the last year or so, so that's obviously really positive because it's saving people. You could have also said that it's really positive for filmmakers and for photography to go because it's going to places that they've never been before. And you could have used also that it's from that National Gallery quote as well, um, talking about that it's the top photography of that year was took by a drone. So there's loads of different positive um, answers you could have had for that one. And then number four is nice and easy, it was the word spiteful. So maliciously it means it's spiteful. You do something quite mad or quite bad on purpose for no other reason than just to be nasty. So that is quite a spiteful act. Here, number five, it's worth three marks and you had six questions. So if you get all six, you get three. If you got four correct, you will get two marks. And if you only got two correct, you will get one mark. So that is for you to mark on the screen now, fact or opinion. An easy way of finding out facts or opinion, fact is something that is very true. It's specifically true. So it did happen. So 22 aircrafts had been diverted. Yes, I know that's true because the Birmingham Air um, speaker did tell me that and that has happened. It's been wrote down, it's a fact. Um, drones continually to invade privacy. Now this was a tricky one because they're not all used for that and that statement says that all, seems to me that all drones, whereas 
I'm reading that thinking, yes, it is a fact, only because when in the extract it talks about the police having to have over a thousand reports of the drones um, going through people's private um, land and taking pictures on there. So it is a fact that they are invading people's privacy because it is reported to the police. So that's why I put that one as a fact. Drones are used by the emergency services. Yes, that is a fact because it talked about all the different services that are using it and then also about the photo. So they are all definitely things that have happened. Whereas an opinion is something that you think. So some people think that they are not safe for members of the public. However, some people love them and think, yeah, they're great. And they are safe if they are used correctly. So that is an opinion that all drones are bad and not safe. So that's somebody's opinion. And the drones are an essential piece of technology. Again, it's in somebody's opinion. A teenage person who does YouTube and wants to record loads of cool images, yeah, it's essential for them. But is it essential for a grandma that's not really bothered about taking photos? Probably not. So it completely depends on the person that is saying that statement. So that is an opinion. So again, check your answers and see if you get the marks correct. Number six, again, it's your opinion. As long as you've backed it up using a quote, then you will get it. So you could say, yeah, it's a great thing and people, um, people need one and it's really positive. As long as you've used something from the text, like I have, saying, I think drones are more of a friend to society because of their technological advanced um, traits. They are helping save lives and that is fantastic and it should continue. I know this because in the text it says. So already I've got one mark because I've told the, um, I've in my answer I've said that I've, my opinion, that's one mark. Your opinion is one mark. Easy peasy mark to get. However, to get those two marks, that extra one, you do have to steal a quote from the text to back up your answer. So I've said it's a positive thing. So then I can't do a quote saying something like, oh, it's going on people's privacy because that is a negative quote. So I need to pick a positive quote that backs up my answer. So I've chosen the quote that says drones help save lives and therefore are an essential piece of technology. So that backs up what my opinion is. If you said, no, they're a foe, they're not very good to society, that's fine, that's your opinion, as long as you've backed it up. So you could say it's about the privacy, you could say um, it's dangerous in case they collide, or it's dangerous to airplanes, anything that you've stolen or took from the text, you can have. As long as you've backed it up, you get those two marks. And number seven, there are lots of persuasive argument language devices. So these are the devices that you're going to use in your writing when we do our debate this week. So they are used to try and get your point across and persuade your argument to win, basically. And there are many different features that that says. And it's usually something along the lines of many experts believe. It's usually a rhetorical question that makes our audience think and question themselves. It's however, it could be on the other hand, but that one's not in the text. So you have to pick the ones that are in the text. Therefore, however, it is clear that, to summarize. So any of those kind of devices that you used um, back in our Elizabeth I persuasive um, speech, they're really, really similar. We're persuading people, either they like drones or they're not a fan. So you could have looked at in the text and found those persuasive devices. The ones that you're going to be using in your English writing this week also. So have a look, mark out of 13, how many did you get? Send a picture or some text words through Dojo telling us your score and how you found this non-fictional news report. So it's a bit different this week, is it's not a story, but I think this one's really gonna help you with your writing.